It's one of the few, few tools that almost everyone owns. And a local knife company, uh, one of the products they make, Heaven. Really an interesting story. And tonight's Made in Mass, Doug Meehan explains how the R. Murphy Knife Company became so good at it. At R. Murphy Knife Company in air, these craftsmen's skills are as sharp as the blades they forge. It's about five and a half inches wide, and it's carbon steel. Mark Furman and his wife Mimi Yunkins are only the fourth owners in this company's 168-year history. The traditional kitchen knife only scratching the surface of what they're making here. Right now, some of our biggest customers are for rubber knives for the tire industry in Ohio, paper cutting knives for the big paper companies down south, and we still make 22 different shoe and leather cutting knives. Nearly 80,000 pounds of steel will be transformed into more than 250,000 knives every year. But it's a certain little knife that's carving out a huge share of a very specific industry. This is such a New england -y oyster knife, I can't tell you. Murphy recently teamed up with Island Oyster Company in Duxbury to produce one of the most popular shucking knives in the shellfish business. We now sell that knife all up and down the Atlantic seaboard to oyster farms throughout the Gulf of Mexico, Pacific Northwest, and even an oyster farm up in Alaska buys that Duxbury oyster knife. Uh, here's the Duxbury oyster knife just being born. Mark says what's made Murphy so successful over the years is the thing that makes them different. Aren't they gorgeous? It's their hands-on approach to every step along the process in creating these handheld pieces of cutlery. We're different from uh, other manufacturers of cutlery in that they're very automated. So you may have robots doing what uh, people are using their hands for. We feel we get a better product, better quality that way, too. We make a beautiful knife that is very functional. Yeah, we're proud of it. Not to intrude on Wonkum's territory, but R. Murphy Knives is also on the cutting edge when it comes to the environment. They're now making some of the handles from discarded plastics that are collected from beach cleanup programs around the world. Doug Meehan, WCVB, New Center 5.